guys Ben here and welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about The Flash season 7 and some of the other DC TV shows we got some sort of news to talk about it's very interesting this is like one whole big topic so we're going to be talking about this in today's video so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year okay so sorry for not uploading in the past few days been a bit busy but we are back, I'm going to be aiming to upload every single day, so please be sure to go over to the community tab right now, or you can message me on Twitter, Instagram, both at the DC TV show, of any ideas, theories, or anything you want to be included in any videos. But today is not a Q&A video, it's not like a question and answer video, it is a news video, but those other videos that I've been doing recently, the Q&A ones, those are coming back so please be sure to go over to the community tab right now and please be sure to leave your comment theory question or idea if you want to be featured in one of these videos so come up with something really good put it in there and if it's really good it's going to be included okay so today's video we're going to be talking about this so the news that i talked about just before is that apparently black lightning is expected to film the next two seasons back to back and with this logic, this applies, could this happen to all of our other Arrowverse DC TV shows? So we're going to be talking about this today, and, you know, we're going to be talking about, like, some of our main shows, obviously Black Lightning, we talk about occasionally, Legends we talk about occasionally, but obviously the main things I want to focus on is The Flash and Supergirl, because that's, like, our main ones. However, let's talk about this, so the article comes from Full Circle Cinema, they're not the most reliable in the world, but again, they sometimes get some things right. So take it with a grain of salt. This could be wrong, but it could also be right. So I think the idea of bringing back TV shows to film back-to-back -back seasons, in my opinion, I think that would work with something like Black Lightning, which has a smaller episode count, or something like Legends of Tomorrow. The main reason for them doing this is due to them being behind on schedules and filming is basically going to have to be rushed for the next season in order to get onto the season after that they've maybe started planning already. And I think it would really make sense for something like Black Lightning, Legends, and we'll talk about Supergirl, The Flash, and we'll get onto The Flash and Supergirl because they normally have longer episode counts, but this is what the article says, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, much of Hollywood was put on hold and future productions have been left in limbo. But as new safety procedures develop, plans have been announced for several projects, including some of the Arrowverse shows. According to someone called Lance on the Black Lightning Facebook group, there are talks of the series filming its next two seasons back to back. And he also revealed recently that Doom Patrol was planning on filming its next two seasons in the same fashion, given the displays that resulted from this pandemic this new filming schedule could become a commonplace for many projects to combat the uncertain future of production so yeah the main thing is uncertainty we don't know if our shows are gonna go back to film say at the end of august but then say something happens there's like a second wave in vancouver or something like that or atlanta where you know black lightning films what happens if productions have to shut down so Basically, I think the idea behind shooting two seasons back to back, and they've done that before with Sabrina, so the CW and Netflix have done that in Vancouver before, so it's not completely notorious, it's not completely stupid to think that this could maybe happen. There is a chance, and I think if any of the shows can do it, it is Black Lightning or Doom Patrol because they have smaller episode counts, or Legends of Tomorrow and it would be out of uncertainty that they would plan to do back to back where they just film all of it they continue filming and you know hope for the best that means they've got like two years worth of footage for two seasons and they can take a break not film for like a long time more and then they can go back to normal maybe once things are more stable after sort of the pandemic has died down a bit more in you know in america and canada and so it was previously confirmed and we're going back to the article here that the flash another vancouver based cw series would begin filming in late august but it remains uncertain if this will be the case for black lightning 
Unlike other Arrowverse series, Black Lightning is filmed in Atlanta, so it may enter production at a different date. The series also differs because it's a smaller episode count that would make filming back-to-back -back seasons earlier. So this is what I was talking about in terms of them being in Atlanta, them being in America. They may start at a different point, but let's shift over to the Vancouver shows, to the main shows that we talk about on this channel, The Flash and Supergirl. So what could be happening there? Is there any chance that this could happen with The Flash Season 7 and Season 8 and then Supergirl Season 6 and 7? With the shorter shows, it makes complete sense and, you know, it's completely logical that this would be a thing that, you know, productions and studio executives are thinking, oh yeah, this would be great, we can get filming out the way, we can just follow the Sabrina model and we can, you know, get this out of the way, we've got it in the can. We're fine for episodes for like two years or something. That would be great. But when talking about The Flash and season seven and season eight, when you look back at The Flash's history, The Flash's seasons are 20 to 22 episodes to 23. Like that is a long season. That would be like 18 months of straight filming. Like that's a long time unless they wanted to condense it like you know in terms of how fast they shoot they can shoot faster maybe but say it cuts down to like 14 months say that is insane that is like a straight year and a bit filming they are never gonna do that with the flash so i would say no i don't think the flash is gonna do it if it keeps the episode count that they normally are on from 20 to 23 there is no way that they're going to be filming back to back. I think they could do what Supergirl planned to do earlier this year. You finish at 20 and then you take a break, but then you come back for a little bit and then you take another break and then you come back, say, in the summer. You know, they could do it a bit more sort of chopped up where they film most of the season, they take a break, then they shoot again for a little bit, take a big break, and then they come back. But again, it doesn't really make sense if The Flash is going to be having like 20 plus episodes because they're just going to be worn out and it's just not going to be good for the actors. They need to think about the well-being of the actors and the crew behind the scenes. So The Flash, if it keeps that episode count, no. But if The Flash cuts down the episode count, which I don't think it will cut down the episode count because that has been a really big thing, you know, since season one that it's always stuck to this longer episode count where you get those 20 plus episodes and you get the mystery kind of dragged along the whole season and it's just great like everyone loves that no way i want to see the flash with 13 episodes like no thanks but with supergirl i think it's more likely and i'll tell you why it's more likely and that is due to the fact of melissa and melissa's baby like i know it's a child lots of people have children but like she's the lead in the show I feel she has a bit more leeway, so I've got a feeling Supergirl, because it's starting filming later, like, they said September, like, end of September time, I think that's still kind of a bit crazy soon for Supergirl to come back, because we thought Melissa was going on, like, a long maternity leave, maybe she's gonna be coming back a few weeks after the rest, but still, I've got a feeling, because maybe Melissa has some more leeway, I don't know if they're gonna do... 20 episodes this season. I feel like they could cut down Supergirl to like 16 episodes and then they film the next season straight after that to get it out of the way and maybe that would be better for Melissa and for childcare and everything like that. But the only reason that I'm bringing up Melissa and her child is because the series lead does have more control over say a supporting actor in the show. So maybe they want to do a shorter season, maybe that's Melissa's idea or something like that. Obviously this is just me theorizing, maybe they want to do like a full 20 to 22 episode run for this next season and I'm all in for that, but it depends. I think it's more likely that Supergirl would cut its episode count down this season and so the back to back episodes would make a bit more sense if it was shorter, however you know, The Flash I don't think is ever going to do that, and I think it's unlikely that Supergirl will do this, so I don't know how likely that is, but that would be a big change. What do you guys think about that? Do you think it's possible Supergirl or The Flash could back-to-back -back film two seasons in a row, like potentially Black Lightning and Doom Patrol are going to do? I really think Legends could do it as well, because of the episode count. That is really all down to that. 
but thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys later for another video tomorrow, so goodbye. I see red.